Hello, everyone. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Welcome to the second day of the festival week broadcast of the 2025 initiative. My name is Alexander and I welcome you on behalf of the 2025 initiative coordination group. Today is Sunday and we follow the weekly rhythm of Sunday focus on bringing hierarchical and bringing the money flow for hierarchical purposes. We welcome today the group initiative that gathered this year in preparation to the festival week to meditatively focus on bringing the golden flow of money for the hierarchical purposes through the framework of the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals. as one of the most specific globally agreed frameworks to help humanity in its advancement in its evolutionary path. I want to express gratitude to all people involved in this initiative and into their dedicated work focusing on this ongoing meditation. And let's begin with alignments. And I will pass the microphone to Maria Cristina Donadio. Thank you, Alex. And thank you all. As here we gather during this time of the Festival of the New Group of World Servers, the New Group of World Servers being anchored and galvanized by the Capricornian energies now uniquely available, grounding its the mountaintop, but also very grounding Capricorn. So with that thought in mind, let us ground ourselves indeed with the supplementary seven and balance on our sitting bones in relation to our earth. Aware of that magical point of contact and when balanced on those sitting bones, the spinal column is released. The spinal column is released and it opens up. The weight is not on that little tailbone and it can soften as we come up on through the spinal column, breathing into the lower lungs, the lower breath, softening and opening that spinal column through the middle breath and through the upper breath the shoulders lengthening and broadening up through the neck, which is now slightly different position so that the head itself tilts and balances, the skull balances the top, that atlas mundi, that uppermost vertebrae. And when balanced, the jaw softens and we come up on through to a between the eyebrows to the ashna center, softening the eyes and the forehead and gathering ourselves within that point of direction, within that center of direction, directing the light through the physical etheric, through the emotional, astral, stilling the waters so that we are capable of beautifully and fully reflecting higher booty.
seated upon the lotus in a state of equilibrium. Within that chakra, directing the light through the lower concrete mind, the monkey mind, bringing that mercurial substance, gathering it so that it is receptive, capable of fresh impression, consciousness itself between the eyebrows, within that brilliance. We look into that light, through that light and beyond to a greater above the head. The thousand petaled lotus, Brahma Randra, the crown center. To the very heart within the head, itself a portal into the higher realms of mind, into the realm of the abstract mind, the egoic lotus, the causal body, the solar angel, the soul on its own plane, a group conscious entity, and it is through the magnetic, magnetic, dynamic force of each soul that we link our hearts and minds in group service, in group identity. Introduction to the Meditation Since May, a small group of esoteric practitioners have worked with Dwokul's Money Meditation to align with higher spiritual forces and anchor the incoming hierarchical energies, specifically in support of the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals. We understand the Sustainable Development Goals to be a fractal of the plan and the most in comprehensive intercooperative effort humanity has ever undertaken in group work. This initiative for redirecting the flow of money into the hands of the new group of world servers seeks to bridge inpouring hierarchical energy with all humanity working through the common goals of the United Nations. We stand for the healing of all in every nation, and we recognize money to be a key tool of empowerment, especially when used in cooperation with the forces of light. We are grateful for the opportunity to share this work during Festival Week when the power of group meditation magnifies the incoming energy and announces humanity's intent to turn to spiritual purposes. This meditation would have not brought the group together without the 2025 webinar on the new moon focus on sustainable development goals and the Seven Rays Institute Conference. Our meditation today is an important link in the chain or pathway of massed intent, which will reach hierarchy. Through group practice with this meditation and all others using the regular Sunday meditation, we can seal the door where the evil of materialism dwells. Before we begin the actual meditation, a brief overview. This redemptive meditation follows the general methodology of white magic to bring the higher principles of right relationship, the law of economy, and the law of dominating good first into consciousness, then to the concrete mind, and ultimately into matter. 
It brings together physical need and physical demand with occult meditation aspiring to correct interpretation, right motive, group formation, and selfless purpose. The Sustainable Development Goals are a new resource for anchoring the principles of right relationship with money. A quick preview of the meditation to encourage full engagement so that you will know what to expect and make the most of your participation. There are four visualizations with supporting slides. And with your microphones continued to be muted, we can sound aloud together so that you fill the space in which you are. Five mantras which will be shown on your screen during the meditation. We encourage you especially to um, sound all stanzas of the great invocations at the closing, uh, again, with your microphones muted. The key uh, component of this meditation has to do with our personal responsibility and action, and includes practical considerations that are transformative individually, nationally, and globally. As the goals themselves are indivisible, universal, and transforming, so too are the steps we each take to support implementation of the goals. In the original meditation, Master DK reminds us to consider personal responsibility and action. He talks about the need for this kind of practical work. From Esoteric Astrology, page 246, we read, it is not the bringing together of spirit and matter as occultism understands those terms, but the relating of physical need and physical supply and bringing together the two tangibles through the power of the creative imagination. We also call upon the responsibility to safeguard these new energies. We recognize that by sounding all stanzas of the great invocations, we are invoking spiritual beings and new forces that usher in more and more Ray One energy of divine will. Dwalko prepares us for safeguarding the incoming energies with this quotation taken from Discipleship in the New Age, Volume 2, page 598-599. You ask if there is aught that you can do. There is, above everything else, the handling of the energy which is now streaming forth, the energy of love in its dynamic or electric form. It is the will aspect of love, which the Christ will of necessity use this time when he comes. When he earlier came, he employed the teaching aspect of the second ray and not the will aspect. Let your fellow workers catch from you the radiance of love. That, my brother, will release the financial supply so sorely needed. It will be the harmlessness which you and your fellow servers can demonstrate, which will prove the needed agent. Tibetan master Dwal Kul stated that the world has changed beyond belief in the last 500 years. And during the next 200 years, the changes will become more rapid and deep-seated. Therefore, today we begin the body of our meditation with a reading from Esoteric Psychology 1, pages 83, 84, where the seventh Ray Lord resides. The Temple of the Lord. Let the temple of the Lord be built, the seventh great angel cried. 
and to their places in the north, the south, the west, and east. Seven great sons of God moved with measured pace and took their seats. The work of building thus began. The doors were closed, the light shone dim, the temple walls could not be seen. The seven were silent and their forms were veiled. The time had not arrived for the breaking forth of light. The word could not be uttered. Only between the seven forms, the work went on. A silent call went forth from each to each, yet still the temple door stayed shut. As time went on, the sounds of life were heard. The door was opened and the door was shut. Each time it opened, the power within the temple grew. Each time the light waxed stronger, for one by one the sons of men entered the temple, passed from north to south, from west to east, and in the center of the heart found light, found understanding, and the power to work. They entered through the door, they passed before the seven, they raised the temple's veil and entered into life. The temple grew in beauty, its lines, its walls, its decorations, and its height and depth and breadth slowly emerged and entered into light. Out from the east, the word went forth, open the door to all the sons of men who come from all the darkened valleys of the land and seek the temple of the Lord. Give them light, unveil the inner shrine, and through the work of all the craftsmen of the Lord, extend the temple's walls and thus irradiate the world. Sound forth the word creative and raise the dead to life. Thus shall the temple of the light be carried from heaven to earth. Thus shall its walls be reared upon the great plains of the world of men. Thus shall the light reveal and nurture all the dreams of men. Then shall the master in the east awaken those who are asleep. Then shall the warden in the west test and try all the true seekers after light. Then shall the warden in the south instruct and aid the blind. Then shall the gate into the north remain wide open. For there the unseen master stands with welcoming hand and understanding heart to lead the pilgrims to the east where the true light shines forth. Why this opening of the temple demanded the greater seven? Because the work is ready. The craftsmen are prepared. God has created in the light. His sons can now create. What can else be done? Not came the answer from the greater seven. Let the work proceed. Let the sons of God create. Hearing and cleansing our planetary system. We take our stand as members of the new group of world servers in full alignment with the spiritual hierarchy and Shambhala. We act as world servers in Aquarius and world saviors in Pisces to clear and cleanse our planetary financial system. With Hercules, the world disciple, we stand and direct the flow of the two streams of Aquarian energy, the river of life and the river of love into the blocked and crystallized energy in our financial system. We pause 
and visualize these blended streams pouring through all business and financial entities and sweeping away all impediments and blockages to right sharing. Reconstruction of our planetary financial system. Using the creative imagination, bring the three planetary centers of Shambhala, hierarchy, and humanity, and the three zodiacal signs related to money, Taurus, Libra, and Capricorn, together in right relation. In alignment with the energy of Venus, the common ruler in each of these signs. Venus unites all these aspects as a focus of intelligent mind. Use the symbol on the screen as an aid to visualizing these dynamic relationships. Invoke the saving force, the blended energy of the three zodiacal constellations and the planetary centers by saying aloud and with focused intent. Come forth, O mighty one. The hour of service of the saving force has now arrived. Let it be spread throughout our financial and economic systems. Ponder on the reconstituted, reconstructed and reformed financial system where goodwill, right human relations, higher values and the right use of money are employed. Be the hands of the workers in the political and financial sea groups, fortified and strengthened. Transformation of money. Ponder on the redemption of humanity through the right use of money. Visualize the money in the world as a great stream of flowing golden substance passing out of the control of the forces of materialism into the control of the forces of light. See this stream of golden substance flowing into the work of realizing the 17 Sustainable Development Goals. Then say the following invocative prayer with focused mental concentration and from a heartfelt desire to meet spiritual demands. O thou in whom we live and move and have our being, the power that maketh all things new, turn to spiritual purposes, the money in the world, Touch the hearts of men and women everywhere 
so that they may give to the work of the hierarchy that which has hitherto been given to material satisfaction. The new group of world servers needs money in large quantities. We ask that the needed vast sums be made available. May this potent energy of thine be in the hands of the forces of light. Redirection of the planetary money supply. Visualize the work to be done by the United Nations, the governments of the world, businesses and NGOs to fulfill the sustainable development goals. Include the work done by any group seeking to implement the plan. Then through the creative imagination and by an act of the will, see untold and unlimited sums of money pouring into the hands of those who seek to implement the sustainable development goals and the plan. Remembering that faith is the substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things not seen, we say aloud together, he for whom the whole world waits has said that whatsoever shall be asked in his name and with faith in the response will see it accomplished. We ask for the needed money for the 17 sustainable development goals. Number one, no poverty. Two, zero hunger. Three, good health and well being. Four, quality education. Five, gender equality. Six, clean water and sanitation. Seven, affordable and clean energy. Eight, decent work and economic growth. Nine, industry, innovation and infrastructure. 10, reduced inequalities. 11, sustainable cities and communities. 12, responsible consumption and production. 13, climate action. 14, life below water. 15, life on land. 16, peace, justice, and strong institutions. 17, partnerships for the goals. We ask for the needed money for the sustainable development goals and can demand it because from the center, which we call the human race, let the plan of love and light work out and may it seal the door where evil dwells.
personal responsibility. Select one or more of the 17 goals each month that speak to you and each week take a practical step toward their realization. Close with a careful consideration of your own responsibility to the plan and to the sustainable development goals. And each week plan your financial activity in cooperation with the hierarchy. Consider making a monthly donation to a group or groups that claim your loyalty. Ground your understanding in practical action, knowing that as one gives, one receives. We are the ones we have been waiting for to build economies based in right relationship. So I'm the great invocation allowed with focused intent. Let the forces of light bring illumination to humanity. Let the spirit of peace be spread abroad. May men and women of goodwill everywhere meet in a spirit of cooperation. May forgiveness on the part of all be the keynote at this time. Let power attend the efforts of the Great One. So let it be and help us to do our part. Let the Lords of Liberation issue forth. Let them bring succor to the sons of men. Let the rider from the secret place come forth and coming say, come forth, almighty one. Let the souls of men awaken to the light and may we stand with massed intent. Let the fiat of the Lord go forth the end of woe has come. Come forth, Almighty One. The hour of service of the saving force has now arrived. Let it be spread abroad, Almighty One. Let light and love and power and death fulfill the purpose of the coming one. The will to save is here. The love to carry forth the work is widely spread abroad. The active aid of all who know the truth is also here. Come forth, Almighty One, and blend these three. Construct a great defending wall. The rule of evil now must end. From the point of light within the mind of God, let light stream forth into human minds. Let light descend on earth. From the point of love, within the heart of God. Let love stream forth into human hearts. May the coming one return to earth. From the center where the will of God is known, let purpose guide all little human will. The purpose which the masters know 
and serve. From the center which we call the human race, let the plan of love and light work out. And may it seal the door where evil dwells. Let light and love and power restore the plan on earth. Uh, have a moment of silence uh, to integrate that uh, that meditation. Thank you, everyone, for participating today. Um, please go ahead and um, uh, raise your hand if you would like to uh, either uh, make a comment, um, give us your impressions, or ask a question. And uh, I will ask uh, for help um, from Alec to just identify anyone with their hand raised and unmute you. So I thought I would just start things off, uh, if that's helpful, by saying that this particular time um, provides us with a unique opportunity to reorient our values, um, not just as individuals and groups, but I think as humanity as a whole. Um, this, um, uh, these astrological alignments that are available to us at this time. Uh, Pluto and Capricorn, as we all know, is all about breaking up uh, the crystallized forms um, that can include our financial system. Uh, reorientation, uh, Saturn in Capricorn also is about um, finances, values, money. And um, it's a time where we can think about sacrifice, um, sacrificing our own desire nature and um, really pondering for ourselves what is the right use of money and uh, how do we support right human relations and goodwill. So I certainly invite you all to take this festival week to do that and to do that sort of pondering um, to um, think about how can I, uh, through my uh, financial resources, uh, support the work um, moving forward into 2020 and for the next step, seven years. Alec, can you help me out? Do we have a hand raised here? Um, I don't see hands raised yet, but there is a question about if you could provide the uh, pages from Zeterk Astrology that uh, the quote was shared from. 
Well, certainly I'll uh, ask uh, Martha if she could just put that in the uh, in the chat box for us. Um, Martha has indicated you will see there in the chat box. She's given the, her email address. Uh, we continue as a group, um, and we've had a few um, additions to our group uh, to do this meditation every Sunday. Um, we do it in addition to DK's money meditation, but with this specific focus on on funding the work of the uh, sustainable development goals. So I certainly uh, also invite anyone who's listening today, if you would like to continue with this work with us, uh, you're very, very welcome. And uh, please just send Martha, there's her email address, marthagallahue at gmail.com. Uh, she will uh, put you on the list and uh, send you an invitation uh, each Sunday. And uh, we'll also have a little discussion on the theme uh, as well as uh, doing this meditation. Martha. Uh, Martha, we can't hear you. Can you speak up or speak closer to your microphone? Is that better? Is this better? Uh, little, that's better. Go ahead. Thank you, Frida. I'm aware that we've had some meditators who have been on the um, meditation for some time and that they might be uh, able to give us some feedback from their experience of having been uh, on the webinar more than once. So I'm wondering if Antoinette Dutois, Ashikur, and Silvana Dupreto would just raise your hands. I know this is a different thing for you. On the left, um, um, if you see a panel there, there you go, Asha. And Antoinette and Silvana, it's a good practice to find that hand on the left and you will be called on, but I see Ashi's hand. Thank you, Martha. Uh, Silvana, you are unmuted? Yes, I am, yes. Uh, thank you, Martha. I, I sort of beat you to it. I did put my hand up, a little <laughs> reluctantly, I might say. So, uh, <laughs> anyway. <laughs> um, yes, I, I've been meditating with the group over the past six weeks. Um, as um, the area of economics is certainly an area of passion and um, focus for where I, I'd like to lend my energies. Um, and I've kind of witnessed the, uh, both the outline and the visual this presentation has undergone the mo a continuous re refinement over the course of that time and evolved into the beautiful and powerful meditation that was presented to us just now. Um, for me, my experience is I could clearly visualise a shattering of the thought form of concentrated wealth in the hands of a few, shattering and being dispersed sort of free flowing and reaching out to the, you know, the greater humanity, uh, sort of bringing balance to wealth distribution, um, beautiful golden lines of light, equalizing access to wealth and resources, and, mo and more especially financing the 17 uh, sustainable development goals. And also those that are endeavoring to work cooperatively with the hierarchy and the plan for humanity um, I've got a couple of um, quotes from DK. Um, it's in Problems of Humanity, and it's worth reading pages 70 to 72, that DK speaks about the cause of all world unrest, of the world wars which have wrecked humanity and the widespread misery upon our planet can largely be attributed to a selfish group with materialistic purposes who have for centuries exploited the masses and used the labour of mankind for their selfish ends. Um, so that was, you know, it's always impressed me and um, and it, it's certainly becoming more to the light of day that they can't hide anymore, their, their agendas can't be hidden. Um, look, this isn't a DK book, but it's certainly a, a, a wonderful read that was um, recommended by one of the group members and that's Political Mind Games by Roy Idelson. Idelson. And he offers a research-based framework highlighting how 1% of the global population has for a century exploited and manipulated the masses to continually bolster profits and concentrated wealth of the world to a self-serving few. It's both an absolute excellent and disturbing read. Um, 
as humanity has been lulled into the sense of complacency that poverty is an inevitable outcome within a capitalist capitalistic system and there is uh, there is naught that we can do about it. Um, and I think we stand with focused intent to bring about the balance, um, law of economy and establish right relations in the world through the right sharing of money flowing through the channel into the fractal of the plan of the UN SDGs. Um, so I, I feel really privileged to be participating in this work. It certainly is an area of um, of focus and um, and I'd like to continue sort of being one of the meditators to support this work uh, every week. So thank you. Thank you. That was lovely. Um, Asha, um, do you think you could say something? Um, yes, thank you. First of all, thank you for inviting me to be a part of this group and um, it was kind of a surprise for me to focus on money as I shared with the group earlier, but I really did notice that with the focus and doing the meditation, I, it was creating something palpable. And um, to, to do this, we are creating, um, we are creating an opportunity and a way of, of um, making money um, available for the use for higher work and for it's hard to articulate really. Um, I've always worked with the um, the Lakshmi energies, and Lakshmi represents abundance in all ways, not just finance. So that is one of the spiritual tenets of abundance, and to actually work with it in the finance world was an opportunity for me. And uh, it's deeper and deeper and deeper. And um, I'm currently in Finland with the um, meeting with Michael and Tuija uh, the, for the new group of world servers. And it's all connecting very nicely, breaking down some of the old things, like you said, with the Capricorn energies coming in and uh, we we are wanting our values and um, let peace light love and abundance prevail on earth for all and uh, good to, this is the first goal in the whole united nations so it helps to visualize it co-create it and it's power, very powerful the more people that join to, to the meditations the more powerful it will be. Thank you. Gosh, that was lovely. Uh, Antoinette, did you want to uh, speak as well? Just unmute your mic there. And also the, uh, Sheldon has a hand raised. And I'm not sure, probably Sheldon, can you unmute yourself? Antoinette? Antoinette, you lowered your hand. Uh, could you just put it back in and then, and then we'll call on Sheldon after Antoinette? Uh, let's go to Sheldon then, um, and we'll come Antoinette. back to Antoinette. Okay, Sheldon and then Antoinette. Keep your hand up, Antoinette. Thank you. Well, I just wanted to say that um, probably for the first time in my experience, um, this has been a marvel, you know, thinking about the whole issue of how do we unblock the stuckness of this flow so that it moves into into a greater flow to, to all of humanity and there was wonderful orchestration of this meditation process today not only from the words but just each of the people chiming in with with that perspective until we reach the place where seeing these these two rivers flow river of life and the river of need and it just struck me then with the beauty of all of this and this is a beautiful time as far as i'm concerned and in the silence that we stand um that the, the suffering that goes with just to speak simply about climate and other other problems that we have um creates a, a level of need, I think, for people at all levels in our society, including world leaders eventually, 
such that there is no other way to do this but to let go and make sure and, and then move forward to meeting the need of, of humanity. There was a kind of simplicity about, about what I'm saying here about the meditation itself, about the flow, and about the times in which we live. And all of a sudden I felt like this is not just a matter of a few billionaires giving some money. It's a matter of, of, of being able to see almost right through crises that we're facing right now, a world emerging that requires money to build. So I feel quite joyful. And thank you so much for this meditation process, for the words and um, all the participation in it. This is very exciting. Uh, thanks, Sheldon. And maybe Antoinette, um, we can unmute you. Go ahead, Unmute yourself and you can speak. Internet. There might be some problem yeah. with the pre microphone because it shows that Antoinette's microphone is on, but it's we cannot hear no. you, Antoinette. Okay. All right. Um, so we'll just turn to anyone else who uh, would like to speak. Just uh, raise your hand. Would Avon be willing to say something about the culture of peace and what the connection is here to the culture of peace? Avon, uh, if you want to raise your hand, we'll unmute you. Okay, why don't we come back to Avon. Um, I thought one of the areas that uh, we could just uh, chat a bit more about uh, was um, what we brought up in the meditation, which is this theme of personal responsibility. Um, this comes directly from DK, who really urges us to take action uh, in the world, not just to meditate on these issues and challenges. And uh, I would like to ask Ario if he could just speak briefly on his um, his vision and his ideas in this area of personal responsibility. Um, Ario, if you could uh, unmute yourself, go ahead. Okay, thank you. Yes, I, uh, I really think that, uh, uh, of course, we have to think how we utilize our, our resources, our money resources, and uh, I think that then, uh, of course, we can be also as examples, at least for people around us. And, uh, and nowadays, it is very good way, of course, DK suggested that we should uh, think about our money use every week. But uh, nowadays we can also just start to become uh, the monthly donator of any any of those organizations who are working in the field of this sustainable development. And uh, that uh, doesn't exactly need then that we should uh, think uh, every week or daily of course, we can do it also, but uh, but uh, I, I really feel that, uh, especially I I uh, am uh, the monthly donator of many many organizations in the moment, and and I think it is good way. Of course, we can then, if we our personal situation becomes different then we can we can also raise these amounts which we donate monthly and uh, i really feel that this is this is the way which uh, everybody 
should think how how and which organizations would 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 really speak to them speak to you then you you could do that uh, quite easily i think thank you that's that's enough thank you are you that was really well said okay we're coming to the close of our of our um webinar today and i'm going to turn it back to alec um i believe we're going to have the sounding of a bell in a few minutes and uh, alec will also um just uh, wrap things up and tell us what we can expect uh, today and for the rest of the week. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, Frida. And there is still one unmuted person. Uh, I finally managed to unmute Evan. Can we hear Evan if you still want to share something? It would be lovely to hear you, Evan. That's so kind of you, but given that the uh, the, few, the couple of minutes we have left, I would just turn it back over to you, Alex. And I think just regarding the culture of peace, this is the 20th anniversary of the UN resolution on the Declaration and Program of Action for a Culture of Peace. And given the uh, disappointing results that came from the climate conference, COP25, that just concluded, it has to do with the aspect of the will and anything that that we as world servers can do as the new world servers to assist with increasing the awareness of and participation implementation of the sustainable development goals with governments businesses with with our local educators whatever it is whatever level each of us can be involved with is so important at this time and um i would i would just First of all, just thank you most of all for this extraordinary meditation. It's one of the most potent ones I've ever experienced for this particular meditation. Thank you all. Thank you, Evan, and I would second that. And this is the second time uh, during today we doing this meditation in our circle here at Livebridge. And there is such a potency that goes through this. And I definitely second what Arya said in terms of our personal responsibility. But I would also add to that, that it's our responsibility to take the lead in any of the activities that can advance the sustainable development goals including the responsibility to receive those resources that are available there and just wait in someone to take initiative and go forward and do something with those resources. So it's not just the responsibility of redirecting money, but receiving those money and start manifesting the plan. And so thank you everyone for joining us for this work and we continue our collective world group labor. It's, it's somehow we always think about the festival as something celebration, but it's a celebration of labor for all of us. So please let's continue working with our small groups and whenever the opportunity arises, come back together in the circle, uh, linking our intentions. And uh, um, there are many events outlined in the Festival Week bulletin board that different groups organize and share, invited to join. Please check those and see if you resonate with any of those. Please join them, work together in different circles. And uh, 2025 initiative uh, continues work. Tomorrow we are in the third day of the festival week. We will be working um, uh, for the uh, noon time GMT uh, in the silence. Uh, please join us. Tomorrow we will focus on the second ray. And tomorrow, we will have a big 
uh, event, a panel that will bring together six groups from three countries and will be joined by a virtual triangle of circles from those three countries, Russia, UK and US, bringing together to, this, to the nine groups that we all together would focus on the topic of manifestation of the new civilization. And that would be a sharing and meditation on the theme of how we can overcome our national and group differences to work together to manifest the new civilization. So that will be happening tomorrow at 7 p.m. GMT. Please join us.